Hello YouTube, it's Kronos Prime here. Finally, I am, after about a year of not doing anything, frames, I'm finally starting up my Let's Play on tra Trains 12. <sighs> I told everyone, soon, it'll be soon, about 10 months ago. But I have been working hard <laughs> to make this the best route that's ever been made. Unfortunately, I have failed epically. This is version 4, well, I wouldn't say epically. This is version 4 of this route. And version 5 will be on Trains A New Era. I just bought it yesterday. I, I played this about, well, I started about 5 o'clock. You know, hold on a minute. I want to see if I can actually get my mouse to show up. Okay, there we go. So I started about 5 o'clock, so I've, I've had about 40 minutes into this. I wanted to get a few trains set up. Like this one I wanted to get loading, but it didn't. Um, so... A lot of things are different from my last version. Um, and I'm experimenting with some of the rules. Like this thing that shows up the next uh, signal and whatnot. Wait a minute. Oh, dang. That is the wrong way. I do not want to go that way. Once I get these trains going, I'm gonna... Okay. Here is the full map. And... Where is it? Constance. There we go. Okay, so here's the mountain. And... Then there's the old town, here be penguins, Lay City, yonder, way out yonder's here, this is beyond reason, uh, <laughs> beyond reason, um, hot sand hurts my feet, desert, um, these rocks float, island, that one island, little bit, uh, little, oh yeah, little bits of island, that, that's a good name for them, <laughs> just came up with that, um, this place could go, boom. oh come on, track clearance, you serious, oh cry me a glacier, oh hey it's raining again, wonderful, oh the frame rate killers, <laughs> okay, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So this is this place could go boom. Power plant for Washburn. Uh test switching yard. There wait no, there's there. By their construction site. Over here. Teddy Canyon. There's no airport anymore. Or, well, I haven't built it. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to work on this anymore. <laughs> uh, way over there. Far out there. And, um, that's about it. Okay, good. You're moving. Oh, so where is... Oh, I think I already got that train started. Not sure if it's there yet. Okay, I think I can leave all this. Oh, wait, no. One more train to send out. Then I got all of every single train, except for some of them that are sitting and rusting over there in the, the shed, are from Jointed Rail. Love their trains. They look so real. Unfortunately, <laughs> it kills frame rates. But it looks good. And this yard is horrible when there's tons of trains here, so I try to get them all out of here. Where is this thing going? Okay, it's going to way, way 
over there. Eight silos, great little pickup. Wait a minute. Nope, 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 nope. You're not going to leave for like 20 minutes. How about 10 minutes? That should be enough time. Uh, load. Alright. So that'll just sit here and wait a little bit. Um, okay. Just gonna go see what Dave is doing. Not there yet. Going very slowly. That might help. Oh, still red. Okay then. Don't don't pass the signal. Don't pass the signal. So the main problem that I have with this route. Oh, let me let me show. It's all flat. I mean, I did not consider topography at all when I built this. And here's the mountain. I mean, it looks good, but it's not as terrifying as I want it to be. I mean, I what I want to do if I when I when I make this, I want it bigger. So I'm gonna make the mountain like this big, and then I'll just have a bunch of train track like going around it. I'm thinking that way I'll have nice gradual hills instead of what I have now, which is just the extremes it's either level or what's going on what wait wait no 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 stop <sighs> when I deactivated the AI it switched the mainline switch back <sighs> and now I gotta go back Wonderful. <sighs> I was really excited about doing this video yesterday, and then I started messing around with the rules, and I got a giant headache. And, and <laughs> I'm not sure how this coupler strain thing works, but I set it to have a message if I ever break a coupler. It doesn't end the session, but it gives me a message. What I wanted to do was set up like a time penalty where I couldn't control the train for like 15 minutes or something like that if I broke a coupler or maybe it was speeding, but I, I couldn't find in any rules that work like that. Oh well. As if this game isn't hard enough. <laughs> it's not really that hard. If you know what you're doing. <sighs> Come on, keep going. Okay. Lost some time there. I'm pretty sure that all of these industries work, but I could be wrong. I've had trouble getting the the steel industry started. I mean, I added the I added the mine needing. Um, do I want to go that way? No, let's go this way. The speed limit's 15 in here. I'm going way too fast. Uh, what was I saying? Before I started talking. Uh, oh yeah, steel industry. I added, um, I need diesel fuel for the mine. To, to actually get it running. 
And so now I have to um, get the oil all the way from these rocks flow island. The, 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 the tankers start here in over or way out way out yonder and then it goes here loads up and then we take it all the way to over here which is right there and so I have to wait for all that just to get the steel industry started and then I gotta take the diesel, it doesn't take much diesel, but I got to take it all the way to Washburn and the mine. And then I take, once I fill up the iron ore train, I got to take it all the way over here. But it's, I, I'm, I'm trying to construct this to make it more difficult. And <laughs> the worst problem I have is the iron ore train. It's so heavy. I mean, last time I, I tested this out. It weighed 10,000 tons, and I had three SD45s, I think, pulling it, and I could not get it up the hills, and I'll, I'll show that later. <laughs> oh, wait, okay, that's the track we're going on. Then... There's nothing on this half of the world yet, except for the uh, the, uh, the oil train, and it's still loading up. I think. Better be. Come on, keep going. So, my, my goal with this one was um, wider turns, I guess. Less... Um, on version 4 of this route, it less, um, I, I lowered the radius of the turn, so now they're more gradual, like, real trains. And then I can actually run steam engines on them without them getting stuck. Which I have yet to try. I've been using diesel engines so much, be just because I wanted to test out the industries, and I didn't want to have to stop because I lost boiler pressure. Because, I think I talked about that in my other videos, but... Ugh, man, it drives me nuts. I cannot drive steam engines. It's like I'm incapable. And I am disgusted with myself. <laughs> but, yeah, the the gradual turning turned out quite nice pretty much everywhere. And then I completely redid my whole thinking process on switching yards. And... I still think um, I could have done better with test switching yard, but plenty of room for improvement, I guess. Don't forget to flip the switch. Last time I tested this out, I lost my wood chips train, like the front five cars of it maybe, because I, I did that. I ran over a switch like that, and then I backed up, and it completely just threw the trains everywhere and then I let I let it sit for a month this was like in October I let it sit for a month and 30 days later I played it again wait was it October yeah it's December now so yeah I w then yeah a couple of weeks ago I played it again November 26th and <laughs> then I derailed the grain train trying to turn it around at the far out there loop and that got me so mad because I thought I, I knew that it could fit in that uh, the loop because I had done it so many times before but it I guess I added more cars to it than I thought I did oh my goodness why is it lagging like that oh they said I I was my hopes weren't high for uh, Trains a New Era until I heard, I, I watched their video on on the, the on the new engine and how they said this one was so outdated it couldn't it couldn't update the graphics on the fly or, or generate them on the fly 
and so it, it jitters like that it pauses and it generates it a little bit and then you go a couple minutes and it has to pause again see just like that and so now with this brand new engine and new physics and the jointed rail people they're, they're still going to be working on it I love that it's going to be I'll be able to play this with much better graphics because I have a really good computer and you could have the best computer you could have the the super computer that played jeopardy and it would still do this just because the the engine's so outdated <sighs> man alive that's terrible i don't know how long i'll be able to stand this game because it's it's even the frame rate's even worse when I'm recording. That's all the logs I take. I, I put four of these log places here when I loaded up the whole train then I realized I really don't need that many logs. So now I just I just load up the first few cars. Oh wait, I missed one. It doesn't work matter. I just load up the first few cars and then I just hightail it out hightail it out of here. Okay. Go, go, go! I gotta watch my uh, <laughs> attractive effort here because I don't want to slip my wheels. And I don't want to go too fast. And these Dash 9s, they consume fuel too. I haven't gotten to the point where it runs out. Because they carry a ton of it. 18,000 units of it. But I'd have to take them over to... <sighs> oh, that's one thing I kind of want for Trains of New Era. Every engine requires fueling. I mean, you wouldn't have to do it often either. I mean, they big hulking tanks underneath them filled with diesel <laughs> but if I do need to ever fill up a dash 9 I think those are the only ones with fuel in them I can just take them over here to the oil refinery <laughs> get it directly from the source <laughs> I don't care about speed limits I'm mashing the hammer and sickle on down wait that's a trucker's turn haha uh -huh. okay, now that Navigate to. I'm hoping I can beat. I'll bet I didn't. I'm hoping I can beat the grain train. If not, I could probably pass it in there if I switch the priorities. It better not have left yet. I really hope it didn't leave yet. Oh, goody. Okay, I'm gonna have it wait another. How long will it take for me to clear up those tracks? long time, so I'm going to have it wait another little while. We don't need to go back into the, the yard here, so I'm going to have it wait for, say, 15 minutes. Alright, you just sit here. That's good. Then I can get the lumber industry going while I wait for steel. See ya, Dave! Oh, <laughs> it slowed back down, because I was going really fast out of there. Alright, get out of here, Dave. Now, I need to check on... You. Okay, the, the oil train's still loading up. You're not even there yet. Which is a problem. We need to get this wood chip train in and out of here. There's only one track that... Well, actually, I could go through Teddy Canyon, but I'm not taking that chance on a loaded train. <laughs> I mean, that... This is what I was talking about. The abrupt hills. This, this track doesn't even go anywhere. I put a loop. Because I don't even have... 
the airport there anymore. Or I I had it in version three, I believe. And okay, so, well, this one's actually.